Biografia. Zorro. Eu sou Jack Perkins. Bem-vindos a Biografias. As aventuras do Zorro são lendárias. O Vingador Mascarado chegou às revistas de ficção em 1919 e se tornou um fenômeno de Hollywood quando o primeiro Douglas Fairbanks Pie e depois Tyron Power interpretaram o intrépido mestre da espada. Por gostar tanto do personagem Zorro, foi Douglas Fairbanks quem decidiu levá-lo às telas do cinema. Depois... Zorro também chegou à televisão com o seriado semanal produzido pela Disney e estrelado por Guy Williams. Hoje, Biografias apresenta A Marca do Zorro. Zorro, A Marca do Z. a horse, he can use a sword, he can make love to women, he can be Robin Hood. There's like almost nothing wrong with this guy. <laughs> He's perfect, you know. Just on a very simple basic level, it's just, it's cool, it's the cool, right? You got the mask, you got the sword, the horse, he always gets the girl, you know, and then Mr. The swords, the costumes, the, everything about it. Uh, I think I spent four years of my life running around the house in a in a bath towel, uh, putting Z's on everything. And, uh, my mother was not amused. We're always looking for something that can eliminate the bad in life and put forward the good. And this is exactly what uh, the character of Zorro did. Well, I think Zorro has an appeal because it lends itself to the everyman aspect of our own wish fulfillment. Zorro's like the original nerdy guy you know, who's not a real physically strong guy, but he is capable and has skill with the sword and very intelligent, who was sort of like a Renaissance man. And at night, he turns into this avenging do-gooder who helps the poor and the oppressed. So I think there lies the appeal of Zorro. 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 Quem foi Zorro? E de onde ele veio? Em 1937, a Republic Pictures prosseguiu com a saga do Zorro. Mas desta vez como um seriado passado no Velho Oeste, com Zorro Ataca Novamente. Zorro was also made for serial representation as well and became a great hero of the of the Republic serials, the cliffhangers of the of the 30s. And with these Republic serials, um, what would happen is that you would go to typically 13 chapters of them, and you would go on Saturday afternoon and you'd see your favorite hero uh, yeah, dueling and making uh, and, and dealing with the villain of the week. And at the end of that episode, there would Zorro be. And you knew, ah, oh, my hero's gonna die. This is no way can he escape. This is it. It's over. Done with. The Walt Disney Studios present. Zorro. Zorro estreou em 10 de outubro de 1957, estrelado por Guy Williams. Toda quinta-feira, às sete e meia, milhares de telespectadores assistiam um Zorro feito na América. 